Hi everyone. So today I want to show you how to increase your animal storage. So the first thing you want to do is when you're on your farm, go check your animal sheds. Um, I've laid down six different sheds already. So here's my stables, my dairy shed, my chicken coop, my wool shed, my pig sty, and my rabbit hutch. So what you want to do is just go through your sheds and make sure that they're empty because if you have animals in, you won't be able to overstuff them. So you want to make sure that your animal sheds are empty. In my pig sty, I have 250, so I'm not going to actually add more pigs because I have tons of fertilizer already. So we're just going to ignore Mr. Piggy there. Okay, so now that you see that my animal sheds are empty, now what I want to do is refresh my farm. But first, um, it's always recommended to set the farm that you're um, trying to add your animals on to the default farm. So my farm 35 is my default farm because I knew I was going to renovate this. So if it's set to your default farm, click the check mark, okay, and then refresh, okay. So we're going to refresh. We're just going to wait for it to load. And then this way it makes it easier for when I open up the other duplicate tabs. Okay, because sometimes if it was set on farm one and then I changed to farm 35, if I was to open up duplicate, duplicate tabs without um, setting it prior, then what happens is it's going to bounce from farm one to farm 35 and we don't want that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now that I've loaded, I'm going to turn myself offline go to the storage, click on items, and then set it to animals. And then I'm going to go to the top tab, right click, press duplicate, and I'm going to open up a brand new tab. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait for this to load. Okay, so turn it offline, go to storage, items, change to animals, then you're going to go to the top tab, right click, duplicate tab, and then wait for it to load. Okay, so we'll turn it offline. Go to the storage, items, switch it to animals. Okay, then go to the top tab, right click, press duplicate. Wait for it to load. Okay, so we're going to do this for eight tabs because that's all Microsoft and Google Chrome wants to allow now. <laughs> ah! Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. So right click, duplicate, tab, and now we're going to turn this offline. Okay, go to storage, items, switch to animals, then right click, duplicate, tab, Wait for it to load. Okay. 
Okay, turn it offline. And storage. Go to items. Then switch it to animals. Okay, then right click, duplicate tab, wait for it to load. So this is tab seven now. Okay, turn it offline, go to storage, items, switch to animals, right click, duplicate, tab, wait for it to load. Okay, and then Turn it offline, go to storage, items, switch to animals. Okay, so as you can see, I have lots of animals just dying to go in their sheds. <laughs> Collected a lot of animals. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now that all my animal sheds are empty, all my eight tabs are open, they're all turned offline and they're all set, I'm going to get ready to move them in. Okay? So I'm going to go through each animal one by one. Okay, and I'm starting with the with the last tab that I just opened and we're just going to basically go back to the start. Okay? Oh, wait, that's right. I wasn't going to add my piggies one. Okay, so sheep, turkey, and now I'm going to go to the next screen. Okay, and then I'm going to move my animals back, move in into the sheds. Okay, so I'm going to do that one by one. Okay, now that I've emptied that out, I'm going to click my X and close it, close the top tab, go to the next tab, and then I'm going to fill the animals again. Okay, then I'm going to click the X button, close the top tab, and go into the next tab, and then put the animals in again. Okay, now that I've got that done, click the X, click the top X to close, and then go to the next tab, and then fill it in again. So we're doing this until we reach the very first tab. Okay. OK, 
Okay. Click the X to close, click the top X close, and then go to the next tab. And now we're going to fill up the animals on this tab. Now if you invest in those super sheds, you can actually put more animals in. So the maximum I think that is like 5,000, which is like really awesome. Okay, so we're going to click the X again, close out of the tab, and go to the next tab. Okay, and then we're going to drain the animals. And put them into the sheds. Okay, then we're going to click the X in here, click the X to close the tab, then go to the next tab, and now I'm going to put the animals into their sheds. Okay, so now that that was the last tab, I'm going to click the X. I'm going to turn this online, press the save button, then I'm going to press the play button again. Okay, so we're going to refresh the farm because now I want to see if all those animals I put in, if it's 2,000 each, and see if I did it all correctly. So we're just going to wait for it to load. If you like my tutorials, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. I have 100 subscribers so far, so I just want to thank all my friends for all their love and support. Okay, so now that we're loaded, I'm going to go and check my sheds. Okay, so let's check my stables first. See, now I've got 2,000 animals. The minimum, cap, well, the, the maximum cap is 250. So it went from 250, that would have been in there, to 2,000. So you can see that they have 2,000. Let's check my dairy shed. Perfect, 2,000 in each of those. My chicken coop, 2,000 in each of those. Okay, good, my wool shed has 2,000s. My pigs I didn't add, so that was staying at 250. And my rabbit hutch has 200. So it looks at everything, I had done it all correctly, so woohoo for me. Uh, thanks for so much for listening to my tutorial. Um, so, if you have any questions, you can just message me on my Facebook page. This is my main profile right here. So just send me a message if you have any questions on the tutorial or if you need any help in Farmtown. I'm definitely the girl to go to for this. Um, so the other thing you can do is you can also reach me at my fan page at Fox Kincaid Author. This is on Facebook. I have 800 likes on it so far, so I'm really, really excited. I'm writing my first book right now, so I have two on the go. Um, there is Michelle, and that one's 70% done. It's a suspense, so I'm hoping that's going to be ready by September. And then my second book is My Imperfect Crush, which is a student-teacher romance, and that one's 25% done. 
So if you'd like to follow up on my book or, or if you have any questions, feel free to message me here. And I will also be posting this on YouTube. So if you want to give me a thumbs up on YouTube, that would be greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for listening to my tutorial. I hope it all helped you well. And have a great day and have a great night, guys. Okay, bye.